Let's get to it, y'all. This part two of my story, my life. It's the MFL Motivation Podcast. Subscribe to the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So you will be able to see all my videos. This part two. Of, the, um, of my story. Story time. Shout out to Cartoon again. He motivated me to do this. That's why the name of my channel. The name of my game, whatever you want to call it, MFL Motivation Podcast. Motivation, family, and loyalty. Now let's get to this story. So we left off on the, um, I bought that, I think it was the 84 Cutlass. And after the 84 Cutlass, so I'm riding around, I'm still doing my thing, getting my money. So, all my partners around the neighborhood were looking like this man here literally driving to school. Well, you know, I had to hide my car at the time. And, uh, I had to hide my car and walk to the school. Or sometimes I just walk to school just to let the teachers there start telling on me or whatever. So, but every time I get out of school, I was. Just going straight getting money, man. I wasn't doing no homework. To be honest, I really, really, for real paid the teachers to give me certain grades. But when I got to a certain grade, they had stopped it. I was taking advantage of it. But, um, so at the time, I'm hanging out, chilling. And one of my closest partners, I'm call his name. He ended up buying it from me. He bought he bought the cutlass from me. I had had it for a few years, and um, I sold it to one of my partners. So I went and bought me a donk. I'm buying this back in the days, days. I'm buying my back in the days before people were really riding donks down here in Birmingham and Belsma, Alabama, at the time. And um, uh, so I'm buying it at the time. I bought that car at the time, so had a little work done to it, got it fixed up. I'm riding around in it, put some interior in there, got it fixed up. I was getting money every day. Knots, beef roll, whatever you want to call it. So I ain't really mess with too many, too many people or whatever. And um, one day I had um. I had that car, so I went and bought another car. I bought a Cutlass, another Cutlass, a pile of blue Cutlass. I bought it from a guy out of, out of my city. He from the Jonesboro area. And that, on this side of town. So, and one of my other partners, I can call his name, No No. He introduced me to the guy. So I bought the car from him. We went to his house, I gave him the money, I bought it, or whatever. So we ran around in that. I'm getting it. Well, he looking like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? He buying car left and right, selling them, buying two more. I'm a hustler. That's all I knew what to do was get money. I, you know, struggle, all that struggling and waiting on a check and waiting on this. That was out the window. I'm getting money now. I'm, I'm, I'm on straight straight with you. So I, one day, I'm, we, was, we was in the hood in the project. Northside Project, Sunset Home. They know what I'm talking about. I pulled in the backyard to wash my car. Couple of homeboy back there. I ain't gonna call no name. Couple of homeboy back there. So I don't know if they were trying to set me up or uh, whatever they were trying to do. I don't know. But anyway, I'm back there washing my car. They back there with me, so they left. So now I just start cleaning the rug off. Some told me to lift the, the rug up in the back seat like the, the carpet. A whole bunch of cut up dope chunks. Was just up under, but it was fake. But if I wouldn't have never looked, because the police always used to try to pull me over, they was always harassing me. So I lifted the rug. Damn. They, you know what I'm saying? But they, I could have got pulled over. They would have found that. 
I would have got charged for that. So that really made me push back from, from a lot of people. Like they were doing stupid stuff. I might leave my car parked in the hood, be gone. I come back, I got dents in my car, stuff like that. This dumb stuff, jealous. I just wish I would have caught me one of their ass. But anyway, so moving on. One day, I had bought a Caprice from a lady, a white lady, for my school. So I got the interior done in the, the 26 inch bad TVs. I did all that. So I'm riding. And uh, at the time, I'm going to pick up. I went and picked up which my son, he was a baby, and my wife. It was his six month checkup, if I could never mistake. So at this day, I pick when I pick him up, we go back to my grandma's house, Northside Project. So when I pick them up, we go back to my grandma's house, like I said. So at the time she was like, Well, it's time for us to go and go to the to the clinic for his for his checkup. I said, okay. So as I'm going out there, I see the police come through the cone. I said, shit. So I popped the hood, played it off like someone. So he pulls up on the side of my car. He looking. I ain't nobody seeing that. So with me and a couple of my partners still out there by my car. He pulled up a little more and said, and said, um, I'll be back. So I'm like, so, I ain't think nothing good. So, about another hour passed by. My wife called me. She said, uh, I'm ready. So, I shit the hood. I take off. I leave. To go get them. I get back home. When I get back home, my wife goes in the house. And they were like, come on, man. This, um... Uh, Let's go in the back, which is my grandma's house. I said, no, let's walk down my partner Prince's house. Go, go. Up on the tree, we go sit up on this tree and just chill, trap. And they finna start jumping. This time he jumped. So they got what they got, I got what I got. So at the time, they going, we going in the back of my grandma's house. We, it, as we going to the back of my grandma's house, I get a phone call. Cousin of mine called me. Well, I ain't no shoot with my cousin at that time. Andre, the police watching you. You need to um uh be careful. So me being the age that I wore back then, I was getting some more money. I said, Man, fuck the motherfucker police, fuck them, but fuck all of them. She said, Andre, just be careful. I said, alright. So we walk on to the back. When we walk to the back, we sitting on the back porch, but the way how we were sitting, you could see who you could see the cars coming in inside the project from off the Belmont Super Highway, and my partner was sitting towards the edge of the brick pole. He linked over, and guess what happened? Got to wait on part three. This is the MFL Motivation Podcast. Like, comment, subscribe, support the channel. Hit the cash app dollar sign D R E D O S S eighty five. Share this video. Keep this channel growing now. Let's go. It's the MFL Motivation Podcast. Part 3 next. I want y'all to be alert. That's a long story, man. I've been through a lot. Motivation in here. Loyalty. Where the loyalty people at? Leave a comment. Share this video. If you like this video, leave a comment and let me know what you think. You ready for Part 3? We're going to have to get to it then. I'm out of here. Ah!